Hey guys, and welcome to another Factorio Mod Spotlight. I'm Exterminator, and thank you for joining me. Today we are going over the Charge Transmission Mod. And uh, this one I am really interested in. Uh, it's, it's really quite cool. So what this does is this adds a special new item to the game, uh, this little guy here, which allows you to wirelessly charge your robots, um, both construction and logistics robots. Um, it will... Uh, well, pretty much wirelessly charge them. So if you have enough of these and they can support uh, charging well enough, which I'll explain in a minute, um, your robots will no longer need to charge at RoboPorts, which can uh, drastically increase your throughput because, and, and such, uh, because the bots can just charge like while moving. Um, they don't have to stop at a RoboPort and charge and wait for other bots. And it can also reduce the amount of RoboPorts you're using and such because they just charge um, while moving. So. There is a research for this, I do believe. Uh, I just saw it, Tra uh, charge transmission. So it's somewhat expensive, 250 of uh, uh, red, green, blue, and high tech, and then uh, you get the bot charger. And each one of these guys costs a beacon, two radars, 10 processing units, and 20 batteries. So moderately uh, expensive. I mean, obviously quite a bit more than a RoboPort. A RoboPort, well, maybe not. Actually, it's fairly similar. Uh, so this may actually be a little cheap, in my opinion, um, for what it does, because uh, this can charge a lot more robots than a RoboPort can effectively. So I would say maybe bump up the cost a bit, but um, in regards to how it actually works. So you, you have this, and it has, a, you know, it doesn't have supply area, construction area. Um, it's, it's essentially like a RoboPort, but can't actually hold bots or provide coverage. So... Um, you place this down and it essentially ties to a RoboPort. So if you place it, um, it will, if you mouse over the actual, like, the, the thing itself, there's two boxes, the hitbox where you pick it up and then the red thing, this shows which RoboPort it's tied to. And this matters because um, the RoboPort it's tied to, that's the area it will affect. So if I just uh, pull these up really quick. Um, it will charge anything within the construction range of this RoboPort or whatever RoboPort, RoboPort may be tied to. Now, obviously, in a tight build where, you know, like this one where I had several RoboPorts close together, um, you know, it's not as important because it's all pretty much in the same area. But, you know, this is good to keep in mind. It does tie to one and you can change it. If you mouse over this and hit R, um, it'll switch it and tell you which one it's on. And then on top of that, you can... Uh, share row ports with them. So uh, if it's not enough charging, then you can place another one and again, move it or whatever. It uh, prefers to tie to ones where there's already a charger. So it will uh, pretty much automatically tie to the same one where a charge is already tied to. And uh, they will then share the load of charging. So the more bots you get, the more charging they'll need. And you can uh, put more of these on a port. I mean, again, in something like this, you could just you know, have it tied to this port or something because in this little setup, it's pretty much the same exact area. But uh, that's how that works. So how many bots can this charge and such? Um, the Mod Portal info, uh, mod portal page has a ton of info, uh, so definitely check that out if you're interested. Um, essentially, the charges work at 66.7% efficiency, uh, meaning that they take 1.5 times the necessary power to charge robots. Um, so... Uh, the, the dev for the mod on the mod portal says, by default, a single charger can handle up to two, 750 active construction robots, but at max robot speed before infinite research, so what we're at right now, um, that drops to about 250 because actually the higher robot speed research you get, the more energy um, they take to actually, uh, the more energy maintenance essentially they take. So the higher robot speed you get, the you know more of these you'll need uh, because they will need to charge uh more essentially so let's let's put this into action i have some providers here some cheaty uh cheat mode providers and then i'm going to go ahead and set up these requesters and do that so uh, you can see now currently i don't need two of these uh this is able to charge all all of the uh 248 and you can notice obviously it's working because they're not stopping at roll ports so this uh, drastically can increase your throughput and stuff because these guys just can always move. They can always be moving, right? Which is awesome. And uh, how you'll know that it's no longer enough is this will display a warning when it's like overtaxed and the robots will then eventually start actually charging at the robo ports. Um, so that would be another indicator. Um, so if I just throw in a lot more bots here, you'll see this indicator here. 
This one uh, means that this thing is being overtaxed. It can no longer support this many robots. Now it does have a bit of a buffer charge in it, so it will charge them for a little bit, but you'll notice in a second, um, they will start actually charging at RoboPorts, uh, and then you would need to just add more of these. Uh, so that's pretty much the mod. I, I think it's really cool. I don't think it's too cheaty aside from the, and you can see they're now charging at ports. Aside from the cost, I think it should be a bit more expensive for what it does. Um, but the principle I don't think is too cheaty because I mean, you know, even in real life now, we I believe we have like wireless chargers for stuff. Um, I, I think it's certainly viable in the Factoria world that we would be able to wirelessly charge robots. So, uh, you know, I think this is pretty cool. If you're interested in this, definitely check it out. Link in the description as always to the mod portal page. Um, I don't believe I forgot anything. Like I said, there is a ton of info on the portal page. Um, so you should definitely find any other questions answered you have there. And, uh, and yeah, Dev seems pretty active. It was just updated like a day or two ago, fixing some bugs and such. But there you go, charge transmission mod, uh, really cool. Check it out. I'd love to hear any thoughts you have down in the comments. And I'm just double, triple checking. I didn't forget anything. I don't believe so. So until next time, guys, thanks for watching. As always, if you did enjoy and found it helpful, feel free to leave a like. And until next time, I look forward to seeing you all and do take care.